What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and this is a bunch of fridges. Uh, in this video, I wanted to kind of do a fridge buying guide uh, just to help you make the right selection for you know the, the best fridge to, to fit your needs. These are all fridges that I currently own. Uh, there's some that I have that uh, aren't up here because they can't fit. Um, but I think this represents a good mix of styles and materials and sizes. And so want to get into all that. You may notice that all of these fridges are from Iceco and there's a reason for that because I just personally love Iceco's fridges. I think when it comes to value and bang for the buck, I, don't, I just don't think you can beat Iceco. And I'll get into some of that here in a little bit. Um, but the, what we have here are four different sizes. This is their brand new, like not even released yet. I, I, I got to preview it first, uh, but coming out very, very soon. Um, this is their brand new APL 20. It is a 20 liter fridge, very small. And I, I think the design is absolutely gorgeous on this thing. Then underneath the APL 20 is the Iceco VL35 Pro. It's a 35 liter fridge. This is the Iceco APL55, so it's a 55 liter fridge. And then right next to it, this big behemoth right here, is the Iceco VL75 Pro. So you'll notice we've got two different fridges from two different lines. We've got two APL fridges and two uh, VL Pro series fridges. And uh, of all the fridges, and I've owned some of Iceco's other fridges, of all the ones that I've owned, the, these two lines are definitely my favorite um, for reasons I'll get into. Uh, but um, this is the different sizes. So, I mean, what's, 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 what works for you? What's, what's gonna be the best size for you? So let me break this down for my use cases. This, the, the 20 liter, this is going to be a great fridge for, you know, a couple people on a day trip. You know, you've got enough room in here to put drinks, to put snacks, lunch meat, that sort of stuff. So good size for one or two people for a day trip, one person for an overnight trip uh, with, with the 20. The VL35 Pro, that's good for one person for a weekend, uh, a couple for an overnight trip. Plenty of room in there for that. I, I wouldn't take either of these on a week long trip. The APL55, this is good for a whole family for a weekend or one or two people for a week long trip. And then the VL75 Pro, this size, that's good for a family for a whole week. I mean, you can pack a lot of food and drinks in a fridge this size. Uh, so that's the size breakdown. Oh, one, one thing I do wanna mention about the, the 20 liter is, and this is exactly our use case, uh, this is great just as kind of a drink hauler. So for my wife, this fridge will be in her Wrangler and because when she's on her longer trips, she is pulling a trailer. That trailer has a fridge in it. So she just wants something real quick to grab drinks out of in her rig. Or if she disconnects from the trailer and she's going out, you know, wheeling for the day, that sort of thing, uh, this, this is perfect for that. So she can just throw a few things in here, just keep drinks in here, but that's what this is for. So that, that's how she's going to use it. This will be in her rig as just basically a drink carrier or throw a few things in here for her to drop the, drop the trailer and then go out and, you know, have fun for the day. So awesome for that with the 20 liter. Okay. So let's talk about one of the key differences that you're going to find in fridges and that's single zone versus dual zone. Uh, these two fridges here, these are single zone fridges. Uh, obviously you're not gonna have, you know, multiple zones in a APL 20. It does have two compartments, two separate compartments, but they're all the same temperature. Uh, this, the 35, it is also just one single compartment. So there's one thermostat control on it that, that you have to worry about. The VL75 Pro, it is a true dual zone. So it has two completely separate compartments. There's one there. There's one there. And both of those have independent temperature control. So you can set, you know, if you just got to carry a lot of food, you can set both at the same temperature, both as fridges, 
if you like i i like to take a dual zone and use them to separate my food from my drinks so like this compartment up here has drinks in it this compartment back here for the food and i think that's just a really handy way to to you know to not have to dig under the meat to grab a coke or you know pull out all the water bottles to get to your steak uh, I, I very much like having the dual zone and being able to keep drinks and meat separate. Now, having the dual zone is great because you can set one as a freezer. And I gotta tell you, it's really nice when you're out, you know, wheeling in the summertime to have one section as a freezer and keep some popsicles frozen in there, keep some ice cream in there. Um, you know, if you're gonna be out on a much longer trip, keep meat frozen in there. And then, you know, the day before you're gonna need to cook it, transfer it to the, to the refrigerator section. And it, it's just a very handy feature to have uh, a dual zone fridge for, for those purposes. Now, the APL 55, it is a combo. So, it actually has a divider inside. And if you take, If you take this divider out, it changes it from single to dual zone. So with the divider out right now, it is a single zone fridge. You have one temperature control for the one area. Uh, but as soon as you put this divider in, now it becomes a dual zone fridge and you have two separate temperature controls and can set one compartment as a freezer. You can set one compartment as a fridge. You can just divide your drinks up if you want to do it that way but you get the same benefits with a true dual zone, but you have the option of if you wanna make it single or dual. And for the APL 55, I've run it both ways. Um, this, this smaller compartment in the back is great for you know, popsicles, ice cream and stuff. And then you got the larger compartment up here for all your food and drinks. So um, really handy option to have with, the, uh, with, with both. Now, here lately, I have been running the VL35 Pro in the back of my Gladiator. And honestly, I don't use a freezer section very often. It's a very small use case for when I'm actually carrying frozen things. Uh, so I, I don't miss not having the freezer running this. Now, you may, you may wonder, why, why do I have all four of these? And that's because, honestly, I can't make up my mind. <laughs> Um, I, I have actually use cases for each one. When we go on our much longer trips uh, in the Gladiator, uh, I, I love the VL75 Pro, and so I'll put it in there. On you know my, my normal weekend um, stuff or, or trips that you know Karen and I may, may go to for just a few days, I very much love the APL55. And then lately, I've been doing a lot of just kind of day trips and overnight trips and solo trips and stuff. Um, and for that, the 35 is perfect. Now, if I had to personally narrow it down to just to just one, um, I, I'd probably go with the 55 because it kind of bridges the gap between the two. And for me, I think this is just the best all around size, unless you've got a large family or unless you frequently travel longer distances. I think the 55 liter, 50 to 55 liter is the sweet spot size for most people. So, and you're going to be hard pressed to find a 55 liter fridge that comes in a dual zone option. Uh, I can't think of any other company that makes a 50 to 55 liter option that with the dual zone. So love that feature of the APL 55. All right, the next thing to consider when buying a fridge is how do you want it to open? Because um, you, you get either a, a front opening fridge like this one or side opening fridges like the, the other three here. I'm gonna use the, the, the VL35 Pro as my example. So do you need a, a front opening fridge or do you want a side opening fridge? Because your rig is, is gonna, how your fridge opens is gonna determine how easily you can access the stuff in your rig. Now, in the back of my Gladiator, I have a slide out. I'm lucky enough, both work for me. Um, for quick and easy access, if I don't pull the slide out, a front opening fridge like the APL55 
um, where you know the tailgate is here, but I can just open it up, reach in, grab it. For a side opening fridge, you know I have to reach in a little bit farther, get the handle, then reach in and and grab it. For my purposes, uh, the 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 front opening is is handy. If you're sliding this in the back of an SUV, uh, like I used to carry a fridge in the back of my Wrangler uh, before I got my Gladiator, um, I had a side opening fridge. That was honestly kind of a pain because I had to, to reach in a little bit deeper to open that. If I had had a front opening fridge like this, just you know, open the tailgate, boom, open the lid, it, it's all there. So that makes a difference. Now, if you are you know, putting your fridge on the slide so you have access to both sides, um, side opening fridge would be super handy. So take that into consideration for the fridge you're buying, if it's front opening or side opening and how that's gonna fit in your vehicle and how you're gonna use it, because uh, it makes a difference. Another key thing to take a good look at is the warranty. Um, some fridges, especially some of the budget fridges, you're only gonna get one year warranty out of the compressor. That's not very good. Iceco's sister company, uh, Set Power, uh, they come with a three year warranty. So, from a budget standpoint, Set Power is the way to go, uh, but they're just, they're not as rugged and not quite as well built. As, as the ice cores are because it's a budget fridge. And I mean, you, you gotta know what you're getting. Um, what I love so much about Iceco is they come with a five-year warranty, which is the exact same warranty that you're gonna get from the higher end brands such as Dometic and Snowmaster. Um, it is very rare though there are, I, I know of at least one company that does have an eight-year warranty on their compressor um, and they are super expensive. So a uh, five-year warranty on the compressor is, is what you're gonna be looking for. And love the fact that Iceco uses the Seacop compressors, which have a very good reputation. They are a solid compressor. I have, of all the Iscos that I've owned, and none of these that are sitting up here, but of all the Iscos that I've owned, I've only had one issue with the compressor. That was on a VL60 that came uh, in our Conqueror trailer, and it wasn't regulating the dual zones correctly. Called up Iceco. Boom, they replaced it, no questions asked, and super easy process. So uh, five-year warranty, you know, if you're making an, an investment like this, you wanna make sure it's gonna last. So look for one with a solid warranty. Okay, uh, let's talk construction, because we've got two fridges here that are metal construction. Uh, these have aluminum side panels, and we've got two fridges here with plastic construction. I think the metal construction looks fantastic but it is easier to dent and it's easier to uh, to mess up uh, it, it's all cosmetic so it's not uh, you can see here on my uh, APL 55 I've got some dings here from me loading uh, gear into the back of my gladiator and struck it so I've got a dent in my APL 55. I've done that plenty of times with the VL 75 Pro back there and you know there's some scratches on it but there's no there's no dents in it. Um, so from a you know it, it, this is going to be personal preference but you may just note what it's made out of if it's plastic if it's metal uh, how that's gonna look. I have got marks uh, on the side of my black APL 55 here from bags and you know diesel heaters and boxes and stuff rubbing up against it. So uh, just just note this thing is still this thing is a tank. It is not going to get hurt at all. But it, like I said, it's it's just cosmetic. So just be mindful of how it's constructed, if if that concerns you. Now let's uh, let's just talk about some general features that I really like and some things to just be aware of. And first of all is the lids. I wouldn't have thought that lids could have so many features and make such a big impact on how, how well you use your fridge. Uh, so you've got, uh, if you have a side opening fridge, you wanna make sure that you can reverse the lid. Uh, some that, are, that have fixed lids, uh, that's going to limit you on how you can put that in your rig. 
So you want to make sure you can reverse the lid. You can some uh, have screws that you can unscrew and reverse the lid. So it, you know instead of opening on on this side, it opens up on this side or vice versa. Uh, some you just open them up to a certain angle and they'll pop out, and then you switch them to the other side. What I love so much about the Iceco VL Pro Series line is the lid just automatically opens whichever way you need it. So I can open it this way. I can open it this way. And if needed, I can very easily take the lid off. So I, that is a killer feature to me for the VL Pro Series line. The, uh, they all do it. The, the 35, it does it. Um, the 75, they also come in a, in a 60. And th there's a, I think there's a couple more sizes. Uh, but the VL Pro Series, I love the fact that from a side opening fridge, this is, this is killer. Um, another thing that is super handy, uh, you'll notice there's no, you know, there's no tension on this. You open this up and, but, you know, it's, it's going to drop. Um, the APL 55, it has a, uh, I'm not sure what they call it, but you can, you can open the lid and it'll shut, but it's not going to slam. So you can, you can open that up and let it go. And it's kind of a soft closing lid. Now, one thing that they put on the new APL 20 that I think is way cool is you can open this up and the lid stays. So you don't, it's not going to fall on you no matter what. Um, so you can, you know, if you need to, to prop that up, boom, it's, it's, it's just going to stay. So the lid design, yeah, I've, I've had fridges with just, you know, opens on one side and plops down on you. Um, it, it's not fun getting your hand slammed. Another great feature to have in a fridge are internal baskets. Now, obviously a fridge this size, you don't, you don't need a basket for it. But once you get into larger fridges, it is super handy to have a basket that you can take out of the fridge, especially if it's mounted in your vehicle, but take out of the fridge, you take this into the house, you load it up, you come back and you drop that in there. A uh, fridge like the APL 55 with dual zone, uh, it comes with two smaller baskets. Uh, these are great if you're using it as a dual zone, but when I'm using this as a single zone, these baskets, they just flop around. Uh, so I don't use these so much when, the, when I've got this in, in a single zone, but from a dual zone standpoint, uh, that's super handy. And then the VL75 Pro, it has baskets on both sides. This one, the smaller basket for that side, and then a, oh, there we go, it's hard to reach and then a much larger basket for the, the back compartment. But that is super handy to have those baskets. So when you're shopping for a fridge, look and, and, and check. Another neat feature to look for that I don't see many brands having is outlets on both the front and the back. Um, a fridge the size of the APL 20, that doesn't need it because it's such a small fridge. But all three of these have outlets on the front and back. On the front, you've got uh, your DC outlet to plug into your 12 volt. You have got your AC outlet for if this is sitting inside or in your garage, you can plug it into the wall. And then they also, also have USB ports. So while this is plugged in, if you need to charge your phone or recharge a fan or, or something, uh, they've got USB ports. So DC, AC, USB, DC, AC, USB. And then on the back, all three of these have DC ports. Um, the APL 55 also has USB ports, um, but they've got their ports for their, their DC connections on the back. So what that does is, you know, depending on where your 12 volt outlets are in your vehicle, it sometimes it's not convenient to run a cord from the front of your vehicle all the way to the back to get to the front of this 
uh, a lot of cords aren't even that long, depending on your rig. So it is super handy having the DC port on both sides uh, so you can keep the cords tucked in out of the way and just keep that cable management um, and sometimes access to the 12 volt plug, uh, keep it handy. So that's, that's a really nice feature to have, those dual, especially the 12 volt, those do 12, dual 12 volt outlets. Um, next, especially on larger fridges, what you wanna look for is very nice, sturdy handles. Um, not something that's all plastic because uh, what, on, a, on a big fridge like this, you're gonna wanna be able to strap this down so that as you know, you're off-road, moving from side to side, you know, hit, going over rocks and stuff, this isn't flopping around and shifting in the back of your rig. So nice sturdy handles, the APL55 comes with um, nice spring-loaded metal handles. These, these may look plastic, but under this plastic case here is uh, metal hardware, uh, metal handle here, there's a metal pin that goes all the way through. Uh, these are plastic, but they're nice and sturdy. Uh, I, would, I would try to avoid something that is all plastic on the handles, because if you crank that down really tight, they, I mean, you could have an issue. It could, could, could break. So love, uh, love these. This big old uh, VL75 Pro, it lived in the back of my Gladiator for a solid year and a half on some really tough trails, and it, uh, it handled, it, it, it did fantastic. Um, so look for some nice sturdy handles. Now, something like the, um, you know, this size, like the APL20, this has some really nice handles. They're spring-loaded, uh, they are metal construction. Um, I, I don't, uh, we will probably be strapping this down in the back of my wife's rig uh, once we get it outfitted in there. Uh, so it's nice to have these, these metal handles here as well. I would honestly avoid anything that has um, handles that are, you know, molded into the, the plastic. I've, I've had some fridges like that and there's just no way to strap them down. So look for handles that, uh, that are sturdy and you can strap them down in your rigs. Another feature that's really handy to have for the larger fridges is a light that comes on when you open the lid. Um, it, when it's nighttime and you're at camp, uh, it, it is very handy to have the light pop on. And if it's uh, one like this with the with, with the optional dual zone, make sure it has lights on both sides. This one does, and it's got a light here, it's got a light in the back, so it's actually illuminated for both sides, whether it's a, a single zone or a dual zone, uh, which, is, which is pretty darn handy. Uh, this, it has lights for each compartment. Uh, this one has the main light for it. So making sure the interior has light, something small like the APL20, you don't need a light for that. All your stuff's just right there. Uh, but for the larger fridges, make sure it's got a light that comes on when you open the lid. One more feature that you're starting to find more and more on fridges is app control. Um, Iceco, the, the APL line, does have app control for it. Um, I've had other fridges that have app control for them. And whether or not that's useful, I'll let you decide. I personally have never used my app. Um, you know, I can, I can see a use case for it, especially like, especially in my case, you, you've got your fridge in the back of your, your, your truck. Um, and you, I don't know, maybe you just want to check it. Um, maybe you decided you need to turn it up or down while you're on the road. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I've, I, I've, I used the APL in the back of my Gladiator for a long time uh, for some long trips. And I just never felt the need to, to open the app and, and check on it. So uh, it's, it's a new feature that they're coming out with. It's not something that I would make, that would make or break me buying one because I, I, I don't ever use it. One thing that you want to look for in the construction of a fridge, um, and I don't know of a single brand that advertises their fridges as waterproof or necessarily weatherproof, but I have been, like I said, this one lived in the back of my Gladiator for a solid year and a half. This one lived in the back of my Gladiator uh, for a good six months or more on some very long, hot, dusty trips. And so far, I've been running this one for the last few months. Um, nothing too crazy with it yet. But since it's a Pro Series, I, I have total confidence in it. But both, both of these fridges especially have done great in the back of my Gladiator just exposed to the elements. They do get rained on. They do get exposed to a ton of dust 
on our trips. So one thing to, to look for, uh, the vents that, uh, that allow the, the compressor to, you know, to, to get airflow, make sure they are designed so that when rain is coming in, it, it, it can't get in there. And both of these vents are designed that way. They're, they're recessed on the inside, angled up, um, kind of like shingles, but um, no rain is gonna come and, and get in here. So uh, I've never had an issue with as much rain and as much dust as these have been exposed to. Um, I, I haven't had an issue. And actually, for a solid month, this one actually set out on my back patio, not plugged in, uh, but set out on my back patio and just got dumped on. Um, but I pulled it inside, plugged it in, perfect. Uh, now, like I said, I don't, I don't know of a single fridge that advertises being waterproof or weatherproof, uh, but look for some key construction ideas, you know, especially if this is going in the back of a truck, in a, in a truck bed. Um, so just, just, just pay attention to that. I think that covers all the features and the key things to be looking for. Um, at the date of this video being released, it is officially you know, Black Friday season. And for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, from November 20th, to the 27th of 2023, I don't know when you're watching this, from November 20th to the 27th, 2023, Iceco's having everything 20% off. The APL 20 is gonna be 25% off. Uh, so huge savings. If you happen to miss that from November 28th through the 30th, that three-day window, everything, everything site-wide is gonna be 15% off. And if you happen to miss all that, you can always save 12% with our discount code Ozark. Put that discount code in there. Link is in the description. Uh, so go click on that link. And yeah, this would be a killer gift for your overlander camper, um, you know, car camper, weekend warrior type of type of person in your life. Um, get, check, link is in the description. So I, I hope you found this video comprehensive and helpful. Um, this, this, you know, all these are ice code, but this applies to any other fridge brand that you may be looking for this, these key features. So anyway, I, I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you would please like the video, it helps the, the YouTube algorithm do its thing. Uh, be sure and subscribe to the channel if you're not. And if you, you know, if you find this, these type of videos helpful, you like our chip videos and maybe you want to consider supporting the channel, gaining access to special content, special events, uh, all of our GPS data. Uh, check out the Patreon link in the description and for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise like, uh, like a shirt and my hat and uh, sweatshirts for, you know, the winter, uh, go to shopoverlandapparel.com. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.